Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe Handy, the Android Authority app guy. So Google is killing off Google Reader, huh? Boo! But after the intro, we'll show you the best Google Reader replacements for Android. First on our list is Feedly. This seems to be the one that just about everyone is going to. In fact, most reports indicate that about half a million people have already migrated to Feedly. They'll be replacing Google Reader with their own backend called Normandy, which is great because we at Android Authority are big fans of Mass Effect references. The app happens to work pretty well as an RSS reader too. If you swipe to open the left panel, you'll have all your categories where you can read based on the category or select individual feeds to check out. On the interface itself, you can swipe up and down to go to various pages and swipe again to mark things as read. It has a variety of views, so readers can choose whether to have a magazine layout or a list layout. In terms of Google Reader replacements, Feedly is one of the most powerful and most popular on our list. Next on our list is Google Currents. This is the replacement for Google Reader if you want to keep using strictly Google applications. It's a pretty solid reader, but it's definitely geared more towards the average consumer than anything else. So if you like to read things during your morning number twos or while waiting for an appointment, Google Currents could be up your alley. The interface is fresh, although consuming a lot of content can take a lot of swipes. If you open up the left column, you can pick an individual feed to check out. You can also swipe to the left and to the right to change feeds. Once you've found a feed you like, you scroll up and down to check out the stories from that feed. To mark anything red, you either have to read it, or you go back to the left column, press a feed or category, and mark it all red. The popular and widely known Flipboard is up next. If you're a casual RSS user, then this is among the best Google Reader replacements out there. It features nice animations, a solid, clean interface, and it's not difficult finding what you like to read on there. If you use RSS for professional reasons, you may want to skip this one. Using Flipboard is pretty easy. Once you get your feeds set up, you open the app and swipe up and down to flip through your various feeds. Then you select one and swipe up and down through the various stories. That's essentially it with Flipboard. It's really easy and it looks really good, but scanning a lot of content takes eternity. So again, if you're looking to read your news like a magazine, Flipboard is worth checking out. If you're one of those people who likes to gobble up content very quickly, then you should probably look for something else. Hat tip to our senior editor Bogdan for suggesting that we add G Reader Pro to the list. For right now, it is a full-blown G Reader client. However, like Feedly, it's working on a solution for after Google Reader's death, so G Reader users can keep on using the app like nothing ever happened. The layout is similar to that of Feedly's, except it's a lot less flashy. For the time being, you log into your Google Reader account where it'll sync your feeds. So with this solution, you won't have to find all your feeds all over again. You open the left panel to view all your feeds and categories, select which one you want to read, and then you read it. Once you get the hang of it and customize your settings, it really is one of the best replacements if you like sifting through a lot of content very quickly. News360 is one of the most interesting Google Reader replacements. It works as a replacement in a sense that you can find most of your favorite feeds and nearly all of your favorite topics. What's different about it is that instead of having a set list of feeds to read, News360 keeps track of articles that you read and your thumbs up and thumbs down, and only brings you the news that you like. In case it isn't obvious, this is definitely more for the casual RSS reader than any professional user, but it's still a pretty nice application. Using it is much like using a less graphically dense version of Flipboard. You swipe left and right to view stories, tap to view them, and you can also like it, dislike it, share it, and save it for offline reading. It's dead simple to use and good for those casual readers who just want to find something really quick. Pro types who prefer having their feeds listed probably won't like this one very much. Press is another Google Reader application that has assured their users that they'll be switching to something new before Google Reader kicks the digital bucket. They said it'll be cross-platform and offer nearly the same type of functionality. So if you end up going with Press, you can put your Google Reader info in now, and it should be saved when the switch is made. That said, Press is a beautiful application. You start out at the categories list, then you can select individual feeds from a grid view. Once you select an article, it brings in a screen from the right. If you want to go back to the list, just swipe the article screen away. It's fluid and it looks nice. It also tries very hard to bridge that gap between the casual and the professional user. It succeeds to an extent and is definitely worth checking out. Tap2 offers Google Reader as a viable alternative for when Google Reader shuts down, and has confirmed that if you import Google Reader info, it'll stay on Tap2 after the shutdown. Porting the Google Reader stuff is pretty easy, and it actually doesn't use Google Reader at all once it's ported in, so there are no worries there. Tap2 is another one of those gorgeously designed news aggregators. It displays each feed horizontally, and you just swipe to view the list. This is good for casual readers and professionals alike, because it has an eye-friendly interface and you can literally race through content. It has all the features of your regular RSS feed apps, and the layout is definitely pleasant to deal with. 
If you're still talking about a Google Reader replacement, Tab2 deserves to be in that conversation. Last on our list is Pulse. Unlike most of the apps on this list, Pulse has its own RSS service and doesn't rely on Google Reader at all. You can port your stuff in, but once it's in, it's in Pulse's system. So if you decide to go to Pulse, there are no worries when Google Reader goes down here in a few months. First, the good news. Pulse has a beautiful interface that is emulated by Tap2 to a degree. Feeds are listed vertically and their stories are listed horizontally so you can swipe through them. Porting your feeds in from Google Reader is actually very easy. Now the bad news. Each category you make can be maxed out. In fact, during testing I couldn't add all of my technology feeds because I had maxed out that category. So this is definitely something for the casual reader and not the professional RSS user. Go figure that the one that the Apple executive likes is the one that has so much promise but is bottlenecked by silly limitations. If you take a look at our leaderboard, you can see how these applications stack up against one another. If you don't know our ranking system, that's fine because that's not what we do here. These apps are ranked based on their ratings in the Google Play Store, so this is how you, the people, have ranked them. There is no bias on our part. Also, we'd like to give an honorary mention to an application called Pocket. It's compatible with most of these RSS readers and allows you to save stories you like to read them offline. This is an excellent app if you're planning on spending some time around places without the web and want a good stash of stuff to read. Also, this is a little bit of an early list. There are a lot of good Google Reader clients out there and we're sure many more will find ways of bringing RSS without Google Reader. So if we missed a good replacement or a great Google Reader client has decided to keep on going after GReader ends, feel free to leave us a comment either here or our written version to let everybody know. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media links in the video description.